You've got to be prepared for this. I am called the pit bull of personal development. You are aware of that. The reason I'm called the pit bull of personal development, first of all, I used to have pit bulls, and I have an English bulldog now and a French bulldog. And well, this is what I know about bulldogs. Bulldogs grab onto something, and they don't let go. Isn't that right? I grab onto a handful of good ideas, and I'm not letting them go. This is what I believe really works. And I, the things that I talk about are plain just good old common sense. Somebody wrote the other day, and they wanted to trash one of my books and said, this is plain old common sense. Yes, it is plain old common sense. This is what I have discovered. Common sense, like common courtesy and common knowledge, is anything but common. Isn't that right? And besides that, I think the world is full of way too many poodles of personal development. They're giving out all this crap that has no teeth. They're out to make you feel better about who you are. I don't want you to feel good about who you are. You spend way too much time loving yourself. Really, when I got to tell you, I've been around lots of folks just exactly like you. You're not that lovable. You need to fix your life. You need to do something about who you are. Isn't that right? Say you back. Yeah. You've got to be a respectable human being. We've got bosses, and I, you know, and I work with all these companies, and they say, my employees don't respect me. You're not a respectable manager. <laughs> That's true. You think you're going to get respect just because you're the boss? No. What made you special? Nothing. You earn respect. Isn't that right? By the way, this just kind of popped in my head. We talked about that special. Uh, one of the things I'm, I'm writing that I just wrote for the new book on stupid kids, I said, stop telling your kids they're special. <laughs> really. They're special to you because they're yours. I mean, all they had to do was be born to be special to you. <laughs> really. They didn't earn that at all. But the minute they step out your door, they're going to find out real quickly there's nothing special about them. <laughs> you better teach them how to be good, how to be people of honesty and integrity, how to work hard. But daddy, no, shut up. You took the job. You agreed to do the work. Do the work. Right. Isn't that right? Yes. You're not special. You're special to me, honey. I love you. I'm your daddy. You're my little princess, but out there, you're just another employee making minimum wage, fill the coffee cup and say, do you want fries with that? <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Come on, folks. None of this stuff is all that hard. So that's sort of my philosophy of success in several different areas.